Amen. You ain't gonna never sound different if you ain't tired of it. Amen. You ain't tired. You ain't tired. You ain't tired. You ain't tired. Until you look around there, he may hear about us getting stuff, and you sit around and know you could be having stuff, and you ain't doing nothing to try to make something happen. You get tired, because I get tired of asking people stuff. I want some stuff myself. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. I get tired of begging them and asking Joe for them. That's a beat for them. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. I get tired of having all the hands somebody had to pray for me. I got to learn to pray for myself. I get tired of looking for the character all the time. I got to be like David. I got to learn how to care myself. But if I was somebody, that's a that quit looking for the character all the time. But learn how to Encourage yourself. Because the matter what you ask in the carrot, they ain't even carrots. So you got to learn how to encourage your own self. And the way I get carried me, you got to learn how to shift to yourself. You got to learn how to get yourself up. Because when David, y'all ain't really had no church of the field. When David got back from Ziglan, they found out that the city with a shoulder in the same meal that he was on the battlefield fighting for. And the same meal that rose up against him. And they had stones in their hand to get rid of the soul of David. And David didn't have nobody to go to for some reason or care. And David looked at all that the men were trying to do. And David said, I will take care of myself and the God of myself. I was somebody to get tonight and say, I'm about to pick myself up again. I'm about to get hope again. I'm about to pick myself and the Holy Ghost. I was somebody because the devil done cut off your hope. He done cut your expectation up. You don't even respect no more. But when you get in the character, you get back on the battlefield. You get back to prayer. You get back in belief. You get back to the place that you got your focus, man. You got your fire, man. You got your drive, man. I wish somebody would get excited and say, I got that character that I'm going to do better. I know you might not think I ain't going to do better, but I'm going to do better. Not to try to prove it to you, but I'm going to do better for myself. I touch your name as a neighbor. I'm going to show the devil and all my haters that they got we're going to make it. They're going to look around now and see you. Get out your butt, put a cap, and drive up in the alley. Help me up in here. And stay in the five bedroom home of your mansion and have your millionaire. Whatever you believe in God's son, you got to get up every day and say, This is the name that the Lord has for me. And I shall rejoice. And I'm going to be glad here. So you got to look at the other neighbor and say, I can do all things. But Christ has shaken me. I wish somebody would get excited and say, I'm going to do it. I don't care if you don't believe in God. It ain't what they believe, baby. It's what you believe. And all things are possible to those who believe. If you can believe it, you can receive it. Got somebody here and say, neighbor, I got no more to do it for myself. I ain't trying to do it to impress you. Because there's some people you ain't going to never be able to impress. There's some people you ain't going to never be able to please. Good walking around here trying to please people. And make sure you please God. Because even though when people ain't pleased with you, the Bible said when a man weighs them, please the Lord. He would just hit him. Just have peace with him. Just your neighbor's a neighbor. He ain't trying to please you. And you can't please God. Give your flesh up. My God, I'm trying to please God. Because he's the only one. Got a hell and a hell to put me in. I wish you would get it tonight. It ain't matter what they think about you. It ain't important about them. It's important what God think about you. And God said, I know the thoughts of that I have towards you. They are good reporters. That's the things I know. What do you think about you? And this means more than ever in life. It's what God think about you. That going to be some people always going to think ain't nothing to you. Because they still think you ain't right. You ain't seen it. They still think you ain't right. They still think ain't nothing to you. But I stop out and tell you. They just keep on looking, baby. I'm going to be praising God. Hey, man, this time next year, I'm going to be praising God. If I don't have a dime in my pocket, I'm going to be praising God. If I lose my house, I'm going to be praising God. If I lose my car, I'm going to be praising God. When all eyes are given, it don't matter what I go to. I'm going to give God a praise. Because I had not been for the Lord that was on my side. When me and Rose were against me, they stumble and fail. Got somebody in the same neighbor. You ain't going to kill my praise. You ain't going to kill my excitement. I don't care. I live like her. I don't care what people say. I stop out and tell you. You got to know that the God 
So he telling you, he said that you weren't worthy. Wow. 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 Mm -hmm. And don't you sit there and act like you ain't you ain't did nothing, or do you deserve it? All right, come on, come on. 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 Come on.